Salutations, Cherry here. I am going to attempt this whole video tutorial again. I suppose practice makes perfect. Although I think I'll be needing a lot more practice before the perfect comes back into play. So today I've got another car tutorial. I have a six by six, 110 pound piece of cardstock folded Hold it in half here. And I've, I, I generally always use heavy cardstock like this just because I'm one of those people that likes to put lots of things on their cards. So that's my base. I used a bone file and my uh, We Are Memory Keepers paper cutter, which I go off on a tangent, but I'm not very happy with it. I've had it over a year and I've got to get another type. And in fact, if you want to leave me a comment, I would love to know what you use as a uh, cardstock or, you know, powdered paper, what you use to cut your paper with, because I do not like it at all. It doesn't, I, I, I always have to go back and cut again because I just, it does not look even to me. I'm thinking about maybe a guillotine. Um, if anybody, uses those let me know because I'd be interested in knowing what you think about them I've never used one other than you know way back in grade school but anyway this is a six by six base and I've already gone ahead I've cut my paper I got this yesterday I, I, I just there was only one piece left I grabbed it I made noises they probably thought I was weird but I love bees I, I never tire of them and I've noticed that they're kind of there's a resurgence with uh, bees because I noticed there's a lot more decor going that way again. Um, I heard, or not heard, I read that the colors of the year are yellow and, and gray. So, you know, that kind of goes along with the whole bee motif as well. But I cut my black cardstock. It's a scrap piece. And it's just a hair under the 6x6. Six six. Um, I'd say probably an eighth all the way around and then my my B is five and five eighths by three and one eighth and then the gray is just a little bit smaller it's five and five eighths by two and three eighths so let's go ahead and we'll get this adhered to the cardstock I'm using I'm, I'm right about out of this I use beacon three and one I really, really like this glue for just almost everything. I'm getting really low on it. It does not wrinkle my cardstock, and I've had I've had glues do that. It really drives me nuts when I go to make a you know a pretty card, and I go to open the card, and it's like the other side has like waves to it. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. And I have to generally play around with this a little bit. That's why I can never. I don't know how some of you girls use the tape. I use it for like ribbons or something narrow, like maybe a border, but not with my paper because I always end up getting it wrong. And then I've got quite the mess going on. Yeah, that looks good. I don't know if you can see that bee paper, but it's just absolutely adorable. I'm always on the hunt for the next best bee paper. Like the bee paper I already have in my scrap folders are not good enough, but yeah. This is uh, Simple Stories. I just got the one piece of it. Wish I would have had a couple more because I probably would have bought them. So there we go. We've got our pattern paper. Sometimes I like to go a little more busy, but since, you know, these bees are kind of, you know, they're on the busy side, I've got that, the black, and the polka dot. So I went ahead and I made a die cut, or cut a die cut. It's just a simple label. And I think I'm going to want to put it a little, I'm going to offset it a bit. And then I have a really pretty heart from Renee Bouquets. 
And I, I, a lot of times, you know, I'll alter something like this, but I really like just the the bareness of this chipboard today, especially with everything else going on. Now, I've, I've already gone ahead and added my foam to get my dimension. Sometimes, you know, you have to play with that too because you start to get more than one layer going and the next piece ends up having to have more than one layer to the back of it in order for it to, to be even across. So I got that about there. And then I have this pretty just die cut flower that I it picked up, I think, the, the colors of the bees. And then the center right here. Yeah, I think that looks good. I like that. Let's hope I get it back in the same place. I'm going to try not to stop my video because last week, I'll admit, I'm still editing the other video and I was close to tears because I did not know that there would be such a learning curve. I know how to take a decent photo, but this whole video thing is way different. I mean, I, I went to, to replay it and I had so many different takes, things that really needed to be like cut and then, you know, put back together. And then I noticed when I went to go and download it, that took forever because I live out in the country. And then by the time I got it downloaded, it was upside down. And it was even left to right, right to left was off. Like in real life right now, this is right to me. But when I go to download the video, it's left, right. And it, it's just, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm, oh boy, what is that? Looks like there's a little bit of black specks there. I don't know what that is. I didn't notice that before. Hmm. I don't know how I got that. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't like, I don't know where that came from. But yeah, so now I am still trying to learn this whole thing. We'll see if this one gets edited properly and gets actually put onto my, my channel. Yeah, right about there. I'm going to use a hot glue gun for this. I never, ever go by the adhesive that they call adhesive on any of the dimensional squares I use or for that matter chipboard embellishments that claim to be you know already have adhesive on the back they never stick don't ever don't trust don't trust the glue don't believe the glue you always gotta add more whatever they think claims to be sticky is not sticky I'm a big hot glue person. If you guys stick around, if I haven't scared you off by now, there will definitely be some hot glue burns. This channel will get some hot, you'll see some hot glue burns and a lot of hot glue mess. I need a new glue gun, that's for sure. Let's see here, right about there. Let me see that some fun layers going on. There's three different layers. Three different layers and three different levels. Which adds a lot of fun dimension. So we've got that. Now I've already gone ahead, done my bow. 
I've been playing around with bows lately and doing some different types of looks. This uh, ribbon is from Really Reasonable Ribbon from Miss Bonnie. And then this is a handmade flower. I've already gone ahead and glued it there. I'm undecided here. This one I, I made by hand as well. This is Fomarin, I think is the way you say it, because there's no I at the end. And it's a lot of fun to play with. So I've got this one. These, which are all from Renee Bouquets. This one I made by hand as well with, um, can't remember the weight, but it's, it's watercolor paper. And then I just used some um, artist, oh, what do you call them? They're artist pens, but they're kind of waxy. Oh, what are those called? I can't remember. Maybe one of you guys can comment and let, remind me what they are. I want to say artist pigments, but I don't think that that's right. So we got that. We got some bees, of course. I love these bees. These are also Renee Bouquet. I'm still in shot here. Yeah, okay. So let me decide here. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to assemble my flowers. Hello, I'm back. After all of that fuss with all these different flowers, I ended up going, staying with my black and putting in two kind of a buttery yellow, more of a pale yellow. And these are both handmade as well. And I put those on either side. Got some glue strings here. And then I put a little bit of faux baby breath, baby's breath, and some of these little pale, uh, I don't know, like little pansies. I like to mix all my florals up. It's a lot of fun. So there's that. We've got that done. Maybe sometime when I start getting better at all of this, I can kind of uh, do some of that way I, I do my, my flowers and my bow. So I think I, oh, sorry guys. Getting out of, out of shot there. That's that, kind of like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna put that right about here. And I want to make sure, because I, I want to tuck my, I have a little bee charm with this little clock. And I want to, I know, I already know that I want to tuck that down in there. So I just make, I got to make sure that I have room. So let's get, so as you can see, it's not too pretty on the other side, but nobody will ever know. there I don't know if you do this but I'm kind of tired sometimes I notice I'll, I'll, I'll like you know hold it down for a while and then I kind of zone out a little bit I'm not meditating or anything but gives my brain a rest looking pretty cute. Now this is my sentiment. Oh, what I was going to say too, I remembered the, um, they're called oil pastels. That's what I use generally to color my, my flowers that I make out of, uh, water paint. Oh, I am so tired. Watercolor paper, yeah. And I ha I use two different weights for that too. And I can't remember. They're both pretty heavy. So that because I when I make them, I use water so that you can kind of break down the fibers of the flower. So I think I like that right about there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And when I know I'm getting low on like my little foam 
my squares, you know, for dimension. Sometimes I will actually use, it's kind of weird. I will use hot glue and let it kind of build up and then dry and then add a little bit more. And it works pretty good. You have to have a little bit, a little more patience, but it's no big deal. So I like that. That was bugging me really bad. I had like, and it was not there before I started filming. I had like little black specks. That came, I don't know where it came from. So I went back with my chalk pen or marker and just kind of lightly went over that and it's gone. I've already gone and I tied this with a little bit of twine. So one thing about hot glue, as you all know, I'm sure get lots of glue strings so I like that got to be pretty quick with this since it's metal I just love, I love that bee paper. It's the little things, you know, especially nowadays, it's all about the little things. All the little tiny victories that I, I hope, you know, we all have from week to week, whether it's finding your right type of tea that you haven't had in a long time, little piece of chocolate, never heard anything, whatever it is, just enjoy it relishing it okay so let's see here what do we got left we've got to let's see i know i wanted to put this and this is just like a little faux wax seal really cute and a little die cut with a crown you know it's got that kind of french bee thing going on because of the crown and I wanted to put it up here, right about, I think right about there. Looks cute. I'm trying to hurry up, but I'm, I'm really slow here because my husband is home and I'm scared he's gonna bust in at any point. We're living in an RV, I don't know if I mentioned that because we are building a house. We have great timing with the COVID and everything. Our life has always been like that though. So I kind of want it kind of cattywampus. I don't want it like straight up and down, both of them. I want them to kind of have what I would call a relationship with one another. Okay, I got that. And let's see here. I like to fidget with my flowers, as you can see. I don't want to cover, like this is the only spot that I've got that cute paper going on still where, you know, you can see a little bit of it peeking. So I want to be careful not to cover that up. I'm gonna put some more green. These are just little mulberry leaves. I didn't make these. They're just the, I'm gonna guess are probably wild orchid. Hold that for a second. Oh yeah, I've got buttons. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't want these. I don't like the look of them like lining up with this up here. So I don't know. 
I had wanted them originally in this corner, but we've got the vine and everything. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait on those and the bees. Let's see, maybe one right there. This is generally for me, I find that I I am drawn towards like the main image or one of the main images. Like if I have more than one, I generally like to have the larger the larger one towards the bottom and the smaller one up a ways. And I don't know if that's just because visually to me, like he's he or she, I don't know if it's a queen bee or what, but more it's she's more visually heavy and I, I, t I notice I tend to do that too like with decorating too like the more heavier object is lower so and I like I usually like them one going one way and one going the other way not always but okay yeah, I hope my lights okay I didn't have time to do this earlier in the day. So I know I like this guy kind of like he's flying up or she. See, I'm mixing up here. Queen, the queen bee here. I like it so it kind of looks like she's right here with a little sentiment. Sentiment. Yeah. You will notice. <laughs> I'm kind of a hick. I say things kind of funny. I've been asked if I'm I'm from down south. But I am like a fourth generation Oregonian. It's just that I was I was raised in a very small town. And I don't know. I just But some of it actually is genetic because my dad's the same way. My dad says things funny. I'm sure I got it from him. Okay. So, can you see that? Here we are. We're just about done. Sometimes if I'm having issues too, I might mention this. Be uh, things, you know, when you're, you've got them down flat and you're you're designing your card if I start to have issues with the way something's laying it's not looking right to me I will this is like for my phone I will actually set my card up this way sometimes I will actually design a card this way so that I can see it facing me and sometimes that will help me to decide exactly where I think something should go So I usually have this really close, close at hand. I actually kind of wish I had two of those because then I could actually use it what it's for, which is for my phone and not for creating a card, which is kind of funny. So that there, and I, I want, I want, I want one more B. I know that. I don't want to cover up my flower. Now see, I'm purposely kind of doing some of this just so that you know, you can kind of see the way I, I'm thinking here. I'm not a um, hmm. I'm not a planner. I don't generally plan things ahead of time. I think that might be part of why this is kind of hard for me to do tutorials. I, I don't have a formula to what I do generally. It's kind of a free flowing thing, and you know, through the whole process, I oftentimes will change my mind about something depending on my mood a lot of the time too. I don't know if you're like that. I think I'm gonna put, put this, oh, oh, sorry. My husband came in for a second. So I haven't actually glued this down. I'm deciding if I like the gold bee. I'm, I embossed that by the way. I embossed it a long time ago with some gold embossing powder. Just not sure. I don't want my heart. You know, I've, I've covered some of my heart up, which is okay. I just don't want to cover up too much of it. Hmm. 
I generally don't like having them going the same direction, but I kind of actually like the other bee going that way. And this is kind of my white space up here. So it gives the eye a little bit of a rest. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm making the official decision to put the bee right in here. I'm going to tuck it under just a bit under my sediment. I'm saying that like it's soil sediment. Sentiment. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So. Buttons, no buttons. Hmm. I also wanted this little crown too because it obviously goes with the whole. Ooh, kind of liking that. Adds a nice little special touch. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to veto the buttons, which is very surprising because I adore buttons. Um, and I think I'm done. Which is good because it's dinner time. Okay. Nestle that right in there. Hold it for just a minute. Yeah. And there's my card. All occasion B theme. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sorry if I fumbled up again, but I'll get better. So that is my For You Bumblebee card using Renee Bouquet and some really reasonable ribbon. And that is it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would love it. Um, let's see, anything else? Uh, leave me a comment. Oh yeah, leave me a comment about what type of uh, paper cutter you use. I'm leaning towards uh, guillotine. So let me know guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you suck around for the whole thing, God bless you. And I will be back soon. And if you don't mind thinking about me and helping me, if, if you've got anything to comment also about how I might attempt to edit these a little faster, that would be good. Because I, I am having, I, I will admit, I'm having some frustration with it. So again, thanks guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!